In this session, you'll see how to use Fiddler to capture uh, the traffic between your client and the web server. Now, Fiddler is a free web debugging proxy that allows you to capture HTTP as well as HTTPS traffic between your client and the web server. Uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, let's see how you can install Fiddler on your machine. Go to trailerick.com slash Fiddler and see free download. Now you can choose the download based on the version of .NET Framework installed on your PC. I have .NET 4 installed on my machine, so I'll go ahead and choose the first option, Download Fiddler, Run, oh, I agree, Install. So there you go, the Fiddler installation was successful. Now uh, the way Fiddler uh, uh, proxies your machine is, is by listening on the local host IP and on port 8888. That's the IP and the port on which the Fiddler listens on your machine. So the moment you launch Fiddler, it basically adds a proxy setting to your Windows registry uh, to this high. The user, uh, sorry, the current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, internet settings. Let's see where in action. Let me go and launch Fiddler. So the moment I launch Fiddler tool, that's fine. Yeah. You'll notice that this has added a proxy server key in here, which says it listens uh, both HTTP and HTTPS. is pointing to 127.001 port 8888. Now that's what uh, Fiddler is listening on. Let me open Fiddler. That's the Fiddler UI for you. You can basically uh, start a Fiddler trace by uh, following many ways. The first one would be to go to uh, File. You have the first option here. You can uh, target between capture traffic and stop the, ca the uh, stop the capturing. Likewise, you can use the F12 key as well to start and stop the capturing. You also have an option to start and stop the capturing by clicking on the left most bottom corner of the fiddler where you have a provision to start and stop the capturing. Right now, the capturing is on, as you can see. Uh, the moment I click here, but the, the capturing is stopped. Let me stop the capturing and show you how you can capture a HTTP traffic. Oops. Alright, let me go to bing.com. Alright, so this is the traffic that was captured uh, by Fiddler for the calls being made to bing.com so every request and response uh, from the bing.com server back to the client is recorded in here let me go and stop capturing and uh, show you one specific uh, fiddler frame uh, to understand how it looks like so the uh, frame number six is wherein I, I made the bing.com request let me click on that if you go to inspectors tab, you will see uh, under headers all the request headers that was sent to the server. Likewise, uh, the below section uh, shows you all the response headers. Uh, click on uh, headers in here, it shows all the response headers that came back from the server. Now, this is how you capture a HTTP traffic for your uh, for your application. Now, let's see how you can capture uh, HTTPS traffic using Fiddler. Let me clear this off. So before you get started with the uh, HTTPS traffic, you need to ensure that uh, the Fiddler HTTPS decryption is turned on. This is how you do it. Go to Tools, Fiddler Options, HTTPS, Decrypt HTTPS traffic. Okay, let me close and relaunch Fiddler. So the moment you uh, uh, enable HTTPS decryption, it is going to add Fiddler's certificate to your root store. 
and uh, basically that is how it is able to uh, intercept your HTTPS traffic. Now, uh, if, if you'd like to go ahead and capture uh, a fiddler trace for your HTTPS site, uh, first start the capturing and just go to the browser and say HTTPS Microsoft.com. Alright, uh, so basically, it, 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 this, this error is basically saying that the remote server Microsoft.com presented a certificate that did not validate. You can actually ignore these, these warnings and proceed as we are interested in capturing the uh, HTTPS trace. I'll say yes. Alright. So these are all the traffic that uh, was captured by Fiddler for HTTPS traffic. You notice the uh, protocol in here. It's 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 HTTPS. Now this this is the magic of Fiddler, which allows you to intercept uh, HTTPS traffic. You can see the request headers, the the, the response headers as well. Now, once the capturing is done. Let me go ahead and stop the capturing. Uh, now let's see how, how you can go ahead and save the trace once the capturing is done. Go to File, Save All Sessions. That's fine. So I'll just go ahead and give it a name. Save it on my desktop. Right. So this is the uh, the fiddler session that we captured just now. It would be in uh, .saz format. That's the fiddler format. So uh, that is all about capturing fiddler uh, to intercept HTTP as well as HTTPS traffic. Thanks for watching.